Okay, well, since I was talking about, you know, ghost stories uh, that based in hospital earlier on, so I might as well tell you another one. That is seriously my own experience. So once again, if you're scared of this kind of story or if you're under 18, then please turn away to another channel. And if you're interested to listen to, the, to this story as a, um, you know, as a, um, for entertainment value or you know if you believe in it then yeah go ahead okay now once again I was working down south in one of the um, hospitals um, I remember obviously when you were early in the training you need to do nights everybody hates doing nights I hate I hate it doing nights it's just because the structure is like this you work normally you know 9 till 5 or 9 till 6 every day and ever so often every several weeks it might be your turn to do nights not just one night, but it's four nights in a row, um, like Monday to Thursday, then you get the Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and then you go back to your normal pattern again. So, I can't remember what department I was working for, but I just remember I was a surgical SHO, and um, that night I was, you know, being called around all night, I was walking around in to different wards, doing different little jobs, like taking blood or prescribing medication or see a patient and stuff like that. So you're constantly running on fume, I would say, because you, you're guaranteed that during the night you wouldn't even get a chance to sleep. Or if you want, you know, if you try to go to sleep, the sort's law is that you'll get bleed. So you might as well just walk around and just keep yourself occupied. So I remember I was uh, walking along a long corridor, but at the end of the long corridor, there's a right turn turning into uh, two or three wards. So it merges an L-shaped kind of corridor. So, um, so I was walking down and all the lights were off and um, remember, uh, you know, uh, the technology that they put into the hospital is that they have uh, motion sensors, uh, lights, so when you walk past or when you're moving through the corridor you would uh, trigger some lights to come on. So I was walking down and lights obviously boom, 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 you know, keep on turning on. And I remember I did a right turn turn into those wards that I need to go to. I saw a nurse coming out and I said hi to her, hi. And then she didn't, she didn't say hi back. I was like, oh my god, so rude, you know. But I thought, oh, well, never mind, you know, probably grumpy because she has to do night, same as me, I was grumpy. And then I realised when she came down the corridor, the lights didn't turn on. The lights only turned on when I got there. And when I turned around, split seconds, she was gone. So. How do you explain that? Because surely, you know, if she was walking out from whatever was, I don't care, wherever, walking down the corridor before me, she would trigger the lights to come on first. But what actually happened was I got there, I said hi to her, she didn't reply, and then the lights come on when I walked down. Spooky, right? So, you know, that was quite scary for me, and obviously I can't say is it supernatural or what, or, or is it actually the, you know, the lamp wasn't working, maybe the sensor wasn't working. It could, could be the case as well, everything can be explained scientifically, I suppose. But that's just another scary experience that I've had, and I thought, oh, you know, it's fruitful for, for, for your, you know, for you to have, have a think, you know, how can that happen? Uh, so, you know, there you go.